Remember when we used to use these? Westminster Abbey. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? You won't see many people with physical maps anymore because almost everyone uses Google Maps on their phone instead. Google Maps is by far the most downloaded navigation app in the US. And for good reason. It's super handy to have the world's streets in your pocket anytime you need them. But there is a trade-off. Google Maps is a privacy nightmare. Spying on 30 million people isn't part of my job description. We'll dive into the details of why you may want to avoid Google Maps, and we'll also look at alternative maps that better protect your privacy. So why is Google Maps so bad? Well, for the same reason that it's so good. Good at showing you where there are traffic holdups or accidents in real time. Good at knowing just what you're looking for, whether it's a restaurant or pet store in the vicinity. To learn about traffic conditions and people's behaviors or preferences, Google is constantly ingesting troves of real-time data and analyzing it. Invading your privacy and surveilling you helps them provide better services. Their entire business model revolves around collecting huge amounts of information about you and selling it to advertisers. What kind of information is collected? GPS data and sensor data from your accelerometer and gyroscope to determine your speed and direction of travel, your IP address Address, your searches and places you label like home or work, information about things near your device such as Wi-Fi access points, cell towers and Bluetooth enabled devices. They also mine data about you from publicly accessible sources such as local newspapers and directory services. And they also use all kinds of tracking tools across your web activity. Everything that you do on Google Maps gets sent back to Google's central servers for them to learn more about you. And it turns out that Google is tracking tracking your movements even when you explicitly tell them not to. For example, Google Maps stores a snapshot of where you are every time you open the app. It's so difficult to prevent your location from being tracked when you have Google Apps installed that they've been sued by several states. That's a pretty good reason to not have any Google Apps on your device, including Google Maps. So what are your alternatives? I'd like a tasting. Apple Maps is surprisingly good when it comes to privacy. They don't collect personal information associated with your Maps usage, and GPS tracking in their Maps app is something to opt into rather than opt out of. Location services can easily be turned off in your location services settings. And even when you have location services turned on, information about routing, traffic, and nearby points of interest used to improve Maps is all anonymized. Apple has a process called fuzzing, where rather than requesting a specific route, they send off multiple requests with multiple identifiers, which helps hide where you're trying to go. Apple doesn't store any information about where you've been or what you've been searching for. Personalized features in Maps, such as parked car, time to leave, favorites, and suggestions like upcoming destinations, are created using data generated on your device and stored on your device only, not sent off to Apple servers for them to see and you can delete it at any time. And any information that is sent out to an external server is disassociated from your Apple ID and anonymized. One way that they anonymize data is when you search a route, a random identifier is created and it exists just for the duration of your navigation session. This means that the route isn't tied to your Apple ID or phone ID and is therefore not tied to you. On top of that, after 24 hours, Apple Maps converts your precise location to a less exact one. Individual usage metrics are associated with a temporary identifier that rotates multiple times per hour and is not tied to your Apple ID. There are longer lived identifiers used to maintain the integrity of your service, but these are not attached to your Apple ID either or to other information that might identify you, such as your precise location or search queries. The Improve Maps feature anonymizes and encrypts your data before sending to Apple, and you can easily opt out of it. Apple does share some data with third parties, and those third parties could try to correlate this information back to specific users. However, Apple even tries to prevent that from happening by making sure that certain thresholds are met. These efforts are orders of magnitude better than what Google is doing by deliberately selling information identifiable as belonging to you. The only times Apple keeps personal information associated with your Maps usage is when you use the ratings and photos service or report an issue. So you may want to avoid using those. Apple Maps doesn't have quite as many features as Google Maps, but I haven't missed them. Also, the real-time response isn't quite as good, and that's the trade-off that you make when you have a more privacy-conscious product, rather than one that is sending off and analyzing data about you every second. 
In general, it's an incredibly polished product that gives you huge privacy benefits over Google Maps. So the switch was an easy one for me. But an obvious downside is that it's only available for Apple devices. What can you use for Android? OSM AND is a popular open source map. It stands for Open Street Map Automated Navigation Directions. And the maps are created from data provided by OpenStreetMap. OpenStreetMap is like the Wikipedia of mapping. It's a free collaborative map of the world. And volunteers collect the map data from the surroundings using tools such as a handheld GPS unit or a notebook or digital camera or even a voice recorder. And then they upload that to the OpenStreetMap data Base to create a crowdsourced map. This free and open source tool has actually provided the basis for many popular mapping services out there, such as Foursquare, Craigslist, and Apple also first launched their mapping platform partially based on the data from OpenStreetMap. OSM AND also uses the OSM database for its primary displays, but it's not associated with the OpenStreetMap Foundation in any way. OSM AND offers routing via your device's GPS for various modes of transportation. It provides turn-by-turn -turn visual and voice guidance with route calculations made on the device, including things like estimated time of arrival and automatic rerouting. It even has tools like ski maps and travel guides. Above all, they are great for privacy. They don't share your geolocation data with any third party. They also don't collect, store, process, or transfer any personal information of users, except when there's clear consent. They avoid services that help create a digital footprint for your device, like screen resolution and IP address. They anonymize data, collecting geo-imprecise information for their analytics to improve services. And they also provide a way to opt out. Any data they aggregate is non-personal and cannot identify a user. And they don't have ads. They offer both a free and a paid version of the app. And the paid version, OSM AND Plus, allows them to pay their developers while avoiding the advertising revenue model. OSM AND Plus provides such features as allowing you to download unlimited offline maps, providing access to Wikipedia points of interest from within the app, and it also unlocks hillshades, slopes, and has more frequent updates for certain map features. The most the distinctive thing about OSM AND is it works completely offline. You select the regions or countries you want and the data you're after from those areas in advance and download the map files to your device. And you can search these offline maps by address, name, or coordinates anytime. These files are automatically updated monthly based on OpenStreetMap. This is great for a few reasons. First, no roaming charges when you're abroad. It's also super helpful if you get stuck in a no service area, and it can be a lifesaver if you get lost while hiking. Having an offline map on your device, regardless of which map app you choose to go with for everyday use, is actually a really good idea. A big thing to be aware of with OSM AND is that you're going to take a noticeable hit on usability. They don't have even close to the development resources that Google and Apple do, so don't expect that kind of polish when you use it. Also, it lacks some features. For example, traffic-aware routing and real-time arrival for public transportation are not supported. But it is available for both Android and iOS devices, and a great offline tool that also protects your privacy. Joe Hindi from Android Authority said it's among the best offline GPS apps available right now. Another alternative that friends of mine use, which is very similar to OSM AND, is Organic Maps. It uses the same data source as OSM AND, which is OpenStreet map and Wikipedia, but some friends have found the Organic Maps UI cleaner and more intuitive. They're also privacy focused, Organic Maps works offline, and this app is also available for both Android and iOS. So to summarize, Google Maps provides a really smooth experience with a ton of great features, and that's why it is such a popular navigation tool. Unfortunately, it collects a huge amount of data from its users. It also sells that data, and it's near impossible to opt out of this collection. But you can opt out of their service altogether and use more private alternatives. Apple is actually a great private alternative to Google Maps, but it's only available for iOS. An OSM and an Organic Maps are privacy-focused offline navigation tools that are available for both Android and iOS. These offline tools are worthwhile looking into regardless of which map you choose for everyday purposes. There are going to be trade-offs regarding usability for some of these, but there is a big trade-off with privacy if you keep using Google. Not everyone wants this digital vampire in their life. So have a play with some of the alternatives we mentioned and see if any work for you.